your throat to another Mortal Kombat mobile video. Shall we begin? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, happy Thanksgiving to my viewers in the United States or anywhere else in the world where you might celebrate that. May your turkey be juicy and delicious. We now have official news regarding the Tower of Horror, and on Twitter the MK Mobile team confirmed that the Tower of Horror will end on December the 7th, so we will have about one more week to play the Tower of Horror before it will be gone. And last but not least, we have a Black Friday sale going on with 50% off on several packs. So happy shopping and good luck! Alright, so now that we are done with the news, I have prepared another Outworld team for you guys. And this time, this team will be composed of Venomous Devora, Sun God Kotal Khan and Spectral Ermac. So first I am going to show you the gear I put on them. Venomous Devora is the starter, especially because she will deal a lot more damage when Blaze's life force kicks in and the opponent has a negative effect going on, so she will deal 100% extra damage. Sun God Kotal Khan, always great for his 30% attack boost for outworld teammates, but also the unblockable special too. And Spectral Ermac will be my main damage dealer because many people really underestimate this guy and I totally disagree and in this hard battle I will definitely show you why. So let's get into the five battles. And we are starting the first match against the Triborg team. We are starting the match with Venomous Devora in first place to apply Blaze's Life Force and directly the tag to Ermac, who already got this silly death smiley over his head. But let's not distract us. First we take out Sector Triborg, now finishing him with a special one by Devora. Ah, he has the Revenant shield up. Then let's get back to Ermac. We're almost at a special 2 right now. Let's break his block. And here comes the special 2. And smoke is reanimated due to the living dead. So let's enter with Sun God Kotal Khan and his unblockable special 2. That didn't take him out, but at least we scared him off without him being able to use one of his unblockable basic attacks. Now another special one against Cyrex Triborg by Devora. And his health is almost down, we blocked the special too. And now we have the Revenant shield, enabling us to take out two Triborgs and the third one with a special two by Ermac. In the next battle we are facing Inferno Scorpion. Blaze's Life Force kicks in. And we go back to Ermac. Blocking his basics. And then the combo ender. And now we're going for a special two. And Scorpion is already out. Another special two against Hanzo, and Hanzo is gone. And a third special two against Classic Scorpion, victory.
and we are facing another Triborg team in battle number three. Blazes kicks in. But he's blocking our attacks. Let's use a special one. So Sub-Zero Triborg is almost down on his health. Let's block the basics again. And Sub-Zero is already out. A special one against Smoke. Who just has his challenge right now, so... If you're interested in unlocking Smoke, just play the challenge. And you can get three fusions for him. Now a special one by Kotal Khan. Of course, will not knock him out, unfortunately, but the basic did it. Another special one against Sector, buying us some time, blocking the special one by Sector. And here comes the special two by Ermac, and as promised, he deals damage. Fight number four, and we are facing Tigra Fury Goro. And he's already burning because of Blaze's life force. Combo Ender by Ermac. And Ermac is burning too because of MK11 Scorpion. Now he blocked the special one, but that's not a big deal. This one connects. And a special one by Devora against Inferno Scorpion. Moloch's Ball and Chain breaks the block. And another special one follows. And now Scorpion is poisoned. We block the special one and take him out. Now we block the special one by MK11 Scorpion, special one by Ermac. And that took him out. Combo Ender. Yeah, because the burning effect kind of hindered us. And now my Living Dead kicks in, but we can apply a special two by Sun God Kotal Khan, which is unblockable anyway, and he needs to work off special twos for feats of strength. And we have a victory here. And now we already face the final battle of the hard battle, starting against Ninjutsu Scorpion. And it's another triple Scorpion team. Combo Ender by Ermac. Let's get him up to a special 2 again. And that pushed Ninjutsu out, so I assume he will have his Revenant shield up, but on the outside. Special 1 by Devora against Inferno Scorpion, blocking the special one, and back to Ermac with another special one. And here we have another Revenant shield going on, and a special one against Classic Scorpion just ignoring Meets Cleaver, special two by Sun God Kotal Khan. And thanks to the talent tree, we have another one ready. But first we had to take a special one. And here goes the special two. And the Inferno Scorpion will be out. Now we took a special two, but apply a special one. And then we tag to Ermac. 
for a final special one, leading us to victory. And that was our hard battle for today. So now we are going to have a look at feats of strength. And let's open about five packs here again. While we do a little recap on the theme. And as I already said, many people underestimate Spectral Ermac, calling him even the weakest Ermac in the game. And I really have to disagree, but I have to admit that you really have to kind of get a feeling for for Spectral Ermac because he plays quite different than the other Ermac variations but if you kind of understand how to utilize him in the most beneficial way he is like one of the really deadly ones when it comes to the older cards I mean of course by now we have so many of the newer cards who deal damage like crazy but for an old card Spectral Ermac does a lot of damage, especially when a teammate is dead and he gets like 50% boosts from him in terms of toughness and stuff. So absolutely great card. Sun God Kotalkan, always fun to play, especially because it's special too. Does not only look good, but it's unblockable on top. And in the combination with Venomous Devora, who deals so much damage as soon as one of the opponents is negatively charged with a DOT, be it fire, poison, bleed, whatever. She deals 100% extra damage per DOT. So that means if you have fire and bleed going on at the same time, she deals 200% damage. Plus her own 100% makes 300. If you're somehow lucky to get another DOT going, she will deal another 100%. So that's an absolutely deadly combination, absolutely fun to play, and I would say we will end the video here. We had a really good heart battle, and as usual no feats of strength rewards, but that's okay, I hope you enjoyed this team anyway, especially because these cards are not that popular so you don't see them that often in matches. KC, over and out for today. Thank you for watching Realm. If you enjoyed the slaughter and the bloodshed, you can support the channel by clicking on the like button. You can also click on one of the two videos presented by Baraka here. Also make sure that you are subscribed and click the bell notification icon to be notified upon new uploads. You all know the drill, wound not kill, have a good one, and see you next time. <laughs>